you've been learning a new language for some time now, and you suddenly realize that you don't know much. You can't understand natives. You are not fluent. You make lots of grammar mistakes, and you confuse vocabulary, phrasal verbs, idioms. Let me tell you, you are not the only one. In today's video, we are going to explore some tried and true methods that will help you learn a new language fast. There are so many different methods to learn languages, to learn anything, but especially with languages, you have to find something that really works for you. And today I'm going to share with you four different methods. Method number one, focus on high frequency words and phrases. This means you should prioritize words and phrases that you are actually going to use. Let's say I'm learning English and I take a book about botanical gardens. I will probably learn a lot of new words, vocabulary, phrases, but am I actually going to use all these words related to plants and the environment, flowers? I won't need them on a daily basis. What happens when you start learning random vocabulary? You are learning so many words that are completely new for you and at some point you are going to feel frustrated because you can't remember all of them and you're not going to use those words every day something i've been doing with german is think of my native language what are the words phrases vocabulary that i normally use every day in spanish i know that is the vocabulary i need to learn in german first when I know all these words, all these phrases that I need every single day, then I can continue and expand my vocabulary with something different. By learning them first, you'll be able to communicate more effectively in a shorter amount of time. In Spanish, we have the saying, la repetición es la madre de la retención. It means something like, by repeating, that's the only way to retain information. And that's what you want to do with new vocabulary you want to repeat, repeat, and repeat. Start by creating flashcards. You can use this by writing them on paper or using an app. There are plenty of apps you can use to create your own flashcards. Practice them daily, and soon enough, you will have a solid foundation to build upon. Method number two, immerse yourself in the language. This means surrounding yourself by the language by listening to music, watching YouTube videos, listening to podcasts, writing in your target language, reading in your target language, thinking in your target language as much as you can. This exposure will help your brain adapt to the language rhythm and pronunciation. Additionally, try to find a language partner to practice with you. It could be a native speaker or someone who is also learning the same language as you. Try to speak regularly with them, even if it's just a few minutes. Remember, practice makes perfect. Method number three, use the internet. We live in the digital age. Language learning has become more accessible than ever before. There are so many resources out there. Take advantage of learning apps, platforms, YouTube, podcasts, AI tools like ChatGPT. There are plenty of platforms where you can have lessons with real teachers who will help you correct your mistakes. And half or even more than half of these resources are free, so you don't have to spend any money on it. Method number four, create a language learning routine. Consistency is key when it comes to learning a language. And we have busy lives. It's not easy to find time to learn a new language, especially if you are working, studying, if you're a parent. However, you don't need much time. Whether it's dedicating 30 minutes a day, 15, 20, try to do it regularly. You could spend 20 minutes every morning listening to a podcast while you have breakfast or reading a book during your commute. Make language learning a habit and you will be surprised by how much you learn and how much you can achieve. And the most important thing, try to stay positive. Some languages are super difficult, like I'm learning German, so I'm trying to be positive. I think about all the things that I will achieve in the future if I become fluent in German. 
And that is my motivation. You might have your own motivation. Think about your motivation every day, and that will help you a lot. I hope you found these tips useful for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.